Good afternoon, Cardinals. I'm Sam, and these are your afternoon announcements. Due to popular demand, Chess Club is back. Tuesdays in room 342, Spanish Monopoly is also available. Dance team trials for incoming freshmen as well as current high school students will be held on May 24th to the 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. Further updates to come. Save the day for the senior all-night party, class of 2021, June 6, 2021. More details to come. Have you lost your earbuds? Please stop into the lost and found in the security office and see if they can identify them. Single earbuds, empty earbud cases, cases with only one earbud, wired and wireless earbuds, and a case for contact lenses. There is a bulletin board outside the counseling office that lists the grade 12 honors students by category, honors, high, and highest. Please note, you have until Wednesday, May 12th to review, and if there are any questions, to please see their counselor. That's all for today, Cardinals. Have a good day. Along, we're getting to know the newest member of our Sunrise team, Gia Vang. Gia is a proud Hmong American. There are more than 300,000 Hmong living in the United States, and about 70,000 of them are right here in Minnesota. Gia tells us more about the Hmong's track to begin a life in the Twin Cities more than 40 years ago. Be determined to learn cloth and paper. It's an old Hmong saying explained to me by Li Pao Zhang. The Center for Hmong Studies is the first one in the world. The one and only person running this special place at Concordia University in St. Paul. He says Hmong stories were told through their clothes long ago, many outfits he has here, and just the place then to learn the story of why Hmong clans. This is the largest urbanized Hmong population in the United States. Chose to build a life in the Twin Cities. Vang says one, refugees were sometimes likely place where resettlement agencies were. The second part? The Vietnam War was not very popular, so they wanted to disperse people from throughout. Um, one thing they forgot is that we are a collective society. <laughs> we gravitate towards each other. Lang Wong, or Vang, was a leader who worked closely with General Vang Pao during the Vietnam War. Li Pao says he was the first refugee family to settle in Minnesota in 1976. Others would follow, where they would face a number of initial challenges, including unemployment, even... Racism, mm -hmm. you know, that's the other piece, is that all of a sudden you have this influx of people here. Why are they here? Mm -hmm. You know, get out of the country. Oh. From what time? But the Hmong have come a long way. Just check out the Hmong archives in St. Paul. To include photos and other stuff. Where it keeps track of, well, Hmong history and more will be added. I think a lot of people look at us as Hmong legislators, mm -hmm. but the truth is, is we are just legislators who happen to be Hmong. Now that Representative Cal Lee Her has made history as one of the largest group of Hmong lawmakers ever to serve in Minnesota. We had, you know, so many people already doing really amazing things. And so the natural thing for us, I think, was to say, where, where at space can we move into next to really be some, to be decision makers. And so it became, uh, you know, the political realm became the place for that. What I would like to see happen is that for other communities that don't often have representation, right? We have a large Southeast Asian community. We have a large Latino community. So we have a large Somali community. And that for them to say, if Hmong people have only been here for 40 years and they've been able to do this, we can do this too. More stories to be woven into the beautiful culture of the Twin Cities.